Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Claudio. So glad that you're here. Today we're going to dive into Adobe Firefly. I'm going to walk you through how to use structure reference images like these right here and turn them into digital art like this right here. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So here I am at the home screen firefly.adobe.com and I'm going to go ahead and enter a prompt and I'll use something like colorful, majestic, cinematic, hyper-realistic and click on generate and I'll have a generated image. Now, what I want to do as it's generating an image here, I can select the aspect ratio. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at square, but right here we have structure and then we have styles and here's where you can upload your images for that reference. So let's go ahead and drag in. First off, I'm going to go ahead and use this drawing that I did. And uh, this is what was popular a few days ago when I posted. This is a hand-drawn photo of a stormtrooper. And I'm going to go ahead and also add that to the style. And we'll go ahead and drag it in right there. Down here at the bottom, you'll see it has style reference, structure reference. And here are some, here is the prompt. That's the key. The prompt is a key. Now, what I'm going to do in addition to that prompt, I'm going to go ahead and select different effects. I'm going to go with this layered paper look. And then we have movements. Let's go ahead and go with an art deco. Let's go themes. And I just, I like doing this. I'm a huge fan of comic books and I can go ahead and go with techniques as well, but I'll go ahead and leave it with those. So I've got the prompt and I've got these styles and I'll go ahead and click generate and let's see what comes up with the AI here in Adobe Firefly. So I've got again, my image that was hand drawn. You can also do this with digital art. So if you have illustrations that you want to bring in and use as a reference, you can do that as well or hand drawn. Oh, here we go. We've got some amazing results. Wow. This is just so cool. As you can see, as I scroll through here, I can see all the different ones and uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and download this because the important thing to note when you're using generative AI, you'll never get the same results. So if you see something you like, you might want to save it. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a new photo or a new hand drawn art piece. And so let's go ahead. This was just a sketch that I did. This is all by hand. I'm going to go ahead and add that here. This is my little doodle art. I've got a house with trees surrounded by mountains with snow. And let's see what happens when we bring that into uh, Adobe Firefly. So we've got the structure or the reference and then the style reference. We're going to go ahead and add the strength. We're going to bump that strength up and let's come down here and let's continue with the different types of effects. Uh, I think I'm going to go with layered paper. I kind of, I love that layered paper look. It's kind of a neat little uh, art style here. And let's go with, let's see here's so many different ones. Uh, let's try, let's try ooh, vapor wave. And let's see color. We're going to go with a, let's go with a toned image. Let's see what we get with that. And actually let's try one more. Let's go with techniques here. Uh, let's try, uh, let's see what we get with paint splatter. It's a ton of different ones, but let's just play with that. Let's see what we get with the drawing that I have of the house, the mountains with the snow behind it. Wow. Check that out. So it's basically took my little drawing. <laughs> That's really cool. Look at this right here. I've got the shadow. I'm going to go ahead and download that one. Uh, let me take off the paint splatter and let's go with the vapor wave. Take that off the toned image. And I'm actually going to come back up here to let's go with movements. Uh, I'm going to go with still that comic book, which I think was right here. Maybe let's try modern art. Uh, popular. We've got hyper realistic layered paper themes. There it is. Comic book. Let's take off cinematic and let's see effects. I think we'll leave the effects color theme. Let's go with vibrant colors and lighting. Let's go with harsh light. See what we get. Wow. Simply amazing results that I have here. Look at all these different ones. I love this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and download that and save it just so you can see the drawing that I did. This is the hand drawn, did that on a white piece of paper with a marker. And again, that is my reference image for structure and style and adjusted the strength of it. And here are the results that I get. Uh, the only drawback 
is that I spend too much time in here, which is not a bad thing, but I've got other work to do and I can literally spend hours here. I recommend give it a try. You do a hand drawing, or if you have a digital piece of art, bring that in as well. And you can use that again, play with the different styles and effects in here, change it up, generate. Remember, download what you like results because they will change and then just kind of refresh or I should say regenerate and just have fun here creating with Adobe Firefly. And that's how to use reference images in Adobe Firefly. So now it's your turn to give it a try. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to be notified for videos just like this one. And please do share this with your friends. Let's YouTube share it with a wider audience. Thanks again for stopping by and checking out this video. Until next time, have fun creating. Peace.